Say, man, what's up with y'all? Thank you so much for everybody that's been checking out the channel. If y'all like the content, man, make sure y'all go subscribe and put a like on this video. And if you don't like it, we'll just put a dislike. Everything helps the algorithm. I greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, today's video, we're going to be talking about cons about regional trucking. Now, mine specifically, I run Texas Regional. So for others, it may be different in different states. But I'm going to explain my uh, side of the story on why my runs have been so trash lately. But it is what it is. So I'm going to explain what's been going on over here since I've been here at this company. So I'm out every seven days and I come back in for the weekend or a weekday. It doesn't specifically mean I'm off weekends, but I get off a day and a half, then I'm back at it at work. So with that being said, these are the routes that I run. I go from Houston to San Antonio to Dallas to Austin, Laredo. So not in that order, but those runs is where I run to, right? Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio, Laredo. I haven't been to Laredo, I haven't been to Austin, nor have I been to, yeah, those uh, cities this week, but that's the routes that I run. I just hit San Antonio today, and I already been on the route for four days. So within the four days, I've only made two long runs, if you want to consider them long, and they're short haul, you know what I mean, because it's regional. So I went from Houston to Dallas, Dallas to Houston. Now I went from Houston to San Antonio. Now from San Antonio, I'm headed to Athens. To explain to y'all some cons about Texas Regional and the little triangle I run, for the most part, if we stay on the camera here about 20 minutes or so, you're gonna see I run into so much traffic and I run into a lot of breakdowns. Now, I could put a whole stretch of a video together and put all the breakdowns that I've had in one video and it's it can probably hit eight to ten minutes I could be wrong but I've had a lot of breakdowns literally in my first month here it was dealing with nothing but breakdowns and uh, including traffic including road construction and uh, that Munyon wasn't hidden it's still the Munyon still ain't hidden you don't know what Munyon is is money right the money still ain't hidden like it's supposed to so uh, my what you call it my uh, you can see my GPS is froze up but I'm actually gonna exit right now just so I can get this GPS uh, back on track and then uh, you know but I'm gonna continue talking but anyways um, you can't operate this tablet without uh, it going to the time or the GPS but yeah so the money on ain't been so good and for the most part, that's what I'm dealing with is traffic and road construction. And a lot of people don't understand. Well, I try to get dispatchers to understand that whenever you're out here on this road, man, anything can happen. So what they like to do is they like to pre-plan a whole bunch of different pre-plans. And when they do that, traffic in two cities may take an hour each or a breakdown may occur so when you're pre-planning for the dispatchers out there when you're pre-planning or when they pre-plan you three stops back to back one of those stops may not be met or two of those stops may not be met just because of the fact of you know little things on the road or traffic or things like that you know the best way to make money is to keep this left door shut and keeping them uh, wheels rolling as everybody knows but that's what I've been trying to get. Uh, that's what I've been trying to get fixed here at this company with me rolling. I've been trying to kind of get my route changed, but I haven't been putting pressure on it like I should been, or I haven't been putting pressure on it like I should be. But um, this week I'm gonna try to get something shaken because I cannot keep making the checks that I've been making lately. My checks have been so trash. I could probably make another video on that. If you want to see another video on that, go ahead and comment down below. I'll go ahead and uh, share that with you. I don't ever mind sharing my bag. But, um, yeah, man. Don't come to MVT and do regional. Because you will be low on fun yuns. You feel me? Oh, we got. Now, let's go through here. Do never. Do not 
rush anything. If you miss the exit, bro, you miss the exit. What this is? Amazon? Oh, no. We'll come right here. We already passed our exit, so it don't really matter. We can go over here on the safe. Uh, we could go over there. Nobody behind us. We're good. I just got to fix this GPS, and we'll be back on the road. Bro, if you miss the stop, bro, do not put yourself in danger. I shouldn't really park here either. But we're going to do it for a split second. It don't take long at all. Get out the way a little bit. Take seconds to do so. May God be with me. He understands. So come here. Take this off. It's like a little reset. Go. Pull our brakes. Come here. Ah, uh, boom, boom. Oh, damn. Okay. Cancel it one more time. Yeah, man, this thing's a headache sometimes, but. Uh, boom. Boom. Damn, it's still showing. All right, give it. Oh, okay. It just came out. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, bet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make this shake and bake. Boom, recenter. All right, turn the volume all the way up. All right, we're good. So we're gonna get back on this road, do a quick U-turn. But yeah, man, so that's my issues over here. Uh, like I said, I've been trying to get my route changed, but I haven't been putting my foot on their neck. So if uh, if I don't move, they won't uh, do anything about it. So yeah, that's my next goal. That's my plan is to move over fleets. And with the fleet that I'm going to be going on, I also run a triangle, but I'll be out of Dallas instead of Houston. So I don't know if I have to relocate, go to Dallas and find a place out in Dallas and then work out of there just to get some uh, long miles. Uh, doing that route is basically like OTR, but they're specific. That's like another triangle, but that's out of state. So it'd be like from Denver, uh, Colorado, New Mexico, Tennessee, uh, what else? El Paso, uh, California, uh, down in Mississippi, different things like that. So, them are more stretched out, which is, in my opinion, going to be beneficial for me. I had a boy that used to do that run, and he was bringing in some good cash. So, that's what my next goal is because the way I'm running right now, <laughs> this week, look, put it this way. This week, I can't do my math on my phone. But this week, I went, like I told y'all, I went from Houston to Dallas, Dallas, down here to San Antonio. Y'all go ahead and multiply it yourself. I did, I get paid 58 cents a mile, right? And keep in mind, I'm in my fourth day already of out here being on the road. So, um, I did a run Monday, but that was from Houston to Houston, literally 12 miles up the street. But yeah, so I went from here, I was like 12 miles up the road, didn't make no money on that. So I just count that as an L. And then uh, some route got changed or something like that, I don't know. But I ended up heading out Tuesday. Tuesday rolled over to Wednesday. Now, you know, that was the whole run of, uh, you know, Houston to Dallas. And then now it's Thursday. Now I'm running out here, I went from, uh, Houston to San Antonio now from here. I'm going to Athens But yeah, man, so if you're trying to make 1500 to 2000 Do not do regional because regional is not the place to be I promise you that Because that's what I was uh, hopefully willing guiding praying to make but that wasn't the case so Yeah, man, we're gonna stay making our chump change and you know, pray for better days, pray for better change. You know, can't complain too much. I got a job, you know what I mean? But uh, like I always like to say, it could be better and it could be worse. So now, you know what, we can make this U-turn. Y'all do everything safely, man. Do not do nothing unsafe. Come here. Ugh. How you do it, baby? That's how you do it. Get back on that road again. Put that blinker and catch up to speed. 
I'm a little heavy too. I ain't gonna hold you, so that's why it's taking forever. But yeah, man, those are my issues running this Texas regional route. And honestly, I wish I could say a lot more positive things about this route, but um, it's, you know, it is what it is. One thing I can say is uh, they did say, whenever I brought it to their attention, that they're able to help me switch to that other route if needed, you know what I mean? If I decided to do that, they told me to hang on one, one more week, two more weeks, and uh, see how this goes. And uh, they're changing things around and stuff like that, so I said, okay, I agreed to it. All right, baby, I appreciate you. So I agreed to it, everything was cool and kosher. So the first week, um, everything was still kind of shaky. It was still kind of the same way. So now we go on to the second week, and here I'm currently on the second week, and I guess they replaced the dispatcher to someone else, and I ain't gonna lie to you. It got a lot worse, you know what I mean? So I started out with this guy. He would always forget to send me uh, BOL information or just pickup information or trailer information, and uh, little things like that some people were hard to get a hold of at certain times and um that's what also slows down or it's just an inconvenience when you really need somebody they won't be there to answer your calls and uh, not trying to throw any other drivers under the bus but um i won't ever say no names but uh other drivers have had the same problems and uh it's been pretty consistent but they're hanging on to see if better days will come and um you know what i'm saying we got a new uh dispatcher and uh, it's just a whole lot worse, to be honest. Not, you know, um, I'm not consistent as far as running. I literally, I've been in Houston two times this week. So I went home two times this week, kicked it for a couple hours while off duty, and then uh, went back to the yard, uh, did my little 10 hours, and then, you know, back out on the road. So that's how inconsistent I've been. You know, usually when I was with the other guy dispatcher, I was never at the house. I was always at least running. But you know, even with that, they always say, we're trying to get you more miles. We're trying to get you there. So the thing is with road construction, they always shut it down. I mean, shut the streets down at night. So when there's not traffic during the day, there's construction at night. And I'm doing Texas, bro, you know what I'm saying? and the most busiest cities. So, you know, you can only imagine what kind of traffic I'm running through. So it's stopping my time. I'm spending a lot of time on duty and traffic running at three miles an hour, five miles an hour. And, um, you know, just not making no money for real. So I'm going to be letting them know tomorrow that um, I'm definitely gonna need a switch because ain't no money on. You know what I mean? And um, this is second week already, and I still haven't seen the pay increase at, if anything, I see my money go lower. So um, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and push the button on that and see where they go from there. And I'm definitely gonna update y'all. In my next video, I might be posting another video of all the little issues that I've had since I've been here, but if not that, something else is gonna pop up. Say, man, but with that being said, I'm gonna cut this video here. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed this video. Y'all remember to go ahead and check out some other videos if y'all like. Also, leave a comment or a dislike button. I greatly, greatly appreciate you for watching the video. And uh, y'all remember, man, stay safe, keep them, keep them wheels turning. If the wheels ain't turning, you ain't earning, baby. Bye, up, man. Get that money on. Turn up. We out. To learn to handle business, get a grip, don't let it go. Days full of hard work, passion, grinding, welcome to my land. I may not know it all, but I promise I know who I am. Toys over.